what is your what is your life like this year after <laughs> the climb? You know, like the whole premise of the show is like the winner wins a hundred thousand dollars in yeah. this hundred thousand prana sponsorship. So it's actually it's actually been a year and a half since we wrapped. Oh wow! We, we the show itself didn't premiere until a year after we did it. Okay, and that it was honestly like kind of nice to have that year as a little bit of a grace period to return back home, see my friends, know what's coming in the future and having the time to prepare for those changes and kind of even like be able to fully grasp what that could mean now rather than like, oh, it ended. Your life's going to change in a matter of like a week or a month or something like that. And my life did like it, it was it was interesting. I mean, I, I was making changes and making plans for the following year when the show would come out. And then when the show came out, it still immediately kind of changed um, in a way that was very rapid. It's been really, really amazing. I think um, a lot of what I had intended and what I planned to do, I was going to do regardless of the prize and the sponsorship. I was going to um, whittle away at that and really start building the Queer Climbers Network no matter what had happened. But the sponsorship really just gives a gives me more flexibility to dedicate and manage my time. Um, I'm still working at home. Like it was, I think that's something that people always expect is like, you just won this thing, what do you do now? And it's like, well, I went, I went home and I went back to work because um, mm -hmm. I really appreciate my job mm -hmm. and I enjoy it a lot. And what currently, I'm a photographer and videographer. I work in the commercial film and video industry. When I'm home, I'm working, I'm picking up work. I'm working on Queer's Climbers Network. I'm climbing. And then um, it's just been really great to connect with some more people in the industry. Uh, I'm working with Flash Foxy on a larger scale than I have in the past as a part of their photography team for their festivals and like one of my main goals was I want to um, be able to teach clinics and help expand access to climbing education. So I took my SPI course and I'm working toward getting nice. a certification for that. So cool. that that has, so I have opportunities with that. I've worked more, I've been able to work more and like travel out to Oregon for out in the wilds first outdoor like queer climbing festival in Smith Rock. And it, it's just been like kind of amazing to be able to um, connect with organizations that are already established, that are already established, particularly in the West Coast, because and, and then learn from them, connect and then be able to like realistically plan and think about, can we bring this to the South? Can mm. we bring this to the Southeast? I want to ask you about your experience on the show itself. Mm -hmm. So you record this thing, you have this amazing experience, and then you wait a year. Do you see any of it in the meantime, or does no. it just drop? Yeah, <laughs> it so, just dropped. Well, we were we were all experiencing <clears throat> everything being revealed at the same time as everyone else. Like we we maybe got to see the trailers and the episodes like the night before, like a few hours before. Were you like super anxious watching every episode? Um, I think yeah, it, it, it wasn't really an anxiety to me. It was more just like a curiosity of what they were going to pick to include. Uh, just because I know that we filmed so much. And... How long was the filming experience? Total, um, it was for me about four months. There mm. was a two wow. and a half, three week break over the holidays. But we filmed from November 21 through February 22. Wow. Um, and... It was like two six week blocks. Wow. Um, <clears throat> and I knew that, you know, stuff would be omitted and it wouldn't, what we are experiencing is going to be something entirely different than what the audience experiences and what they see. For, for my story, um, I had the benefit that being the winner, like they have to, Unless if they they're doing something like really funky, which sometimes they do, but um, I was going to be painted in a in a positive light, and my story was going to be positive. I was I was going to be the protagonist, and it's so weird to think about it that way. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's kind of that benefit of of maybe it, it depends on like 
how they're going to go with the story. If it's some sort of, you know, great hero goes on a journey, sort of like underdog thing or, or how, how exactly they're going to dramatize it. But um, the likelihood of me being painted as a villain at any point in it, just it, it's less because they want the winner to be likable. Mm. They showed what I was bringing, which I was coming in as a representative of the queer and trans community. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's a major part of my life. Um, but but I think they did it in a really beautiful way where I am trans, but it wasn't solely spotlighted on that part of my identity. It felt like, no, this is, this is something that it influences the experience that I have, the type of climber that I come in as, but I'm not climbing the way that I do because I'm a trans person. Mm. It's, um, I'm not the trans climber. I'm a climber who is also trans. It's, mm -hmm. it's an, it's an additional part of this, this person that you see. Yeah. I, all I can think of is the climberisms version of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was something that we would joke about was with climberisms and the account crispy shawarma. Mm. Like what would when we were while we were filming, it's like, okay, is is this going to be the thing that makes it on one of those meme accounts? <laughs> Have we made it? <laughs> what was your experience um, like when the when the show dropped that first drop in January the year later? So you had that grace period for a year, and then what happens? So you said like you kind of felt ready for it, but then it still surprised you. Was it just getting recognized by tons of people? Was it an outpouring of messages from people? I think. Um, People like it was it was really really fun getting to almost re-experience parts of it. Um with the original crew, because we would as stuff would drop, we would talk about it and we'd remember things. But then now with like my close friends and family who knew that I did this thing but didn't know that now we're getting to watch it. And then it it was really fun getting to talk to them about it and experience that i didn't start receiving a whole bunch of messages until kind of later in the episodes um there were there were three drops kind of rather than like one episode dropping a week um they dropped the eight episodes in three parts mm. and but but overall it was it was fun to see people that i didn't know watching it tagging me and stuff seeing the reactions and, and then later um, toward, toward the finals and toward the end, S getting to hear from people, but especially, uh, trans people, trans kids and their parents, like what it means to be able to have someone like that, that they can watch mm. and be connected <clears throat> through this thing that they do called climbing. Mm. Um, there are like trans climbers who exist in climbing. There are some well-known ones, but they're like I can I can count them off on one hand. Um, the the ones who are sponsored athletes and who people know of, and they are amazing people. And it's just kind of like here's a, here's another person to show that we're here. Mm. Here's another person to show that we can do this really cool thing too, that we are, um, that you can be successful, you can be thriving, you can do something that you love that, um, just because in like transmedia historically, the trans narrative is synonymous with trauma. And here is a representation that is not traumatic mm. or it doesn't hyper focus on the trauma uh, that someone may experience. It's a part of their story, but it's not the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense.